Okay, y'all, I'm terrified of mermaids, but I must say, this is right up under it. Ain't nothing more spookier to me than an adult living as a kid. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. You grown? See, now, see, stuff like that scares me, spooks me out. But anyway, this is about a couple, Michael and Christine Barnett. If I, I hope I got their name right. They adopted a seven-year-old in 2010 who they believe was actually 22. They insist she was not a kid, honey. But anyway, they got documentaries. She's been on the Dr. Phil show. It's been out. Y'all, I'm out done. I'm speechless and I'm never that. Y'all know that, right? But anyway, it's going to be a three-part documentary that comes out on the ID channel starting tonight. I was going to wait till I watched the full thing. But I said, you know what? Then y'all going to be the misty. So anyway, we can watch it together and then we can come back and talk about it. But anyway, I didn't watch so many snippets on her. I probably already know the story. Check it out for yourself. Tell me what you think. <laughs> so baby, I'm spooked. We were in a very tight-knit family. April 26th, 2010, that's the day that we adopted Natalia. We had no idea what we were dealing with. She's not six. She was an adult. You could just tell. Man, what you mean she's not Whoa. six? Natalia was told her new birthday at the orphanage in Ukraine. She threatened to stab my sons. I definitely didn't feel safe around Natalia. You've adopted a kid and now they're trying to kill you. I mean, it's the stuff of a horror movie. She tried to poison and kill my wife. One night, I opened my eyes, and Natalia is standing at the foot of the bed with a knife in her hand. See, I'm saying my six are not six. She's tiny. Somebody got to go. Make sense. You just don't know, Drew Barnett. The prosecutors went to Ukraine. Natasha. To track down Natalia's biological mother. I'm charged with two counts of child neglect. Is that correct? Maybe there's more than one villain in this story. Baby, this is the fourth and four one point two to the tenth power. My mom is definitely not a hundred percent innocent. Bye bye. You lie because she told you to lie. Yes. It's like a Ruby's cube. Just when you think you have it solved, you find out you don't. We were all abused. <laughs> Did you want to hurt them? It's all gonna come to light. It'd be yeah. very good if you just quit talking. We're in deep, deep trouble. Well, kicking down the stairs, we said we're not going to say, right? Oh, stole my microphone on. You got a seatbelt? <laughs> Buckle up. You want to give me a word? You want you want you want to have me give you one word that describes Natalia to me? Enigma. She won't tell us the truth of who she is. We are living with a con artist sociopath. Now a story making headlines around the world. Is this a child or a grown woman? The Barnetts believe the adoption was a scam all along. They claim they were tricked into adopting an adult. She's evil. I promise you, within five years, someone's dead. What is it? Why? She threatened to stab my sons, drag their bodies outside, and bury them under the deck. She tried to poison and kill my wife. Bye bye. She said, I pulled a knife on my parents. Big deal. It's like a serial killer or something. It's not casually put attempted murder into a conversation. She's going to kill everybody. You've adopted a kid, and now they're trying to kill you. I mean, it's the stuff of a horror movie, right? If you watch The Orphan, it's just like The Orphan. Did you want to hurt him? It's all going to come to light. She was an adult. You could tell by looking at her. Natalia was a victim. The Barnett's are the predators. They just literally left her to the wolves. You don't know that there's a hundred percent one villain here. Because she basically said that Natalia destroyed their lives. We're in deep, deep trouble. So regardless of her age, she was left feeling uh, abandoned and neglected, alone. Natalia was a child. I, I know that for sure because I'm a little person. I think Christine Barnett is a sorry excuse for a mother. You still need to be on your wall. When I found out what happened to her, that was what broke my heart the most. And there were a lot of secrets in that house. His minimum sentence is 3 to 16 years. <laughs> it, it doesn't smell right. There's something wrong. Oh, it smells like shit.
know the difference between the truth and a lie? I didn't at the time, no. no I was know. just listening to what Christine told me to tell them. You just don't know that you're Barnett's. There was domestic violence. <laughs> They will do anything to get what they want. There were all these pieces to a puzzle that we couldn't quite put together. You're saying you lied because she told you to lie? Yes. Michael and Christine not only lied to get her into their family, but they also lied to get rid of her. This is one of the most twisted cases ever. I know he's not the kind of guy that could do well if he had to go to prison. You got a seatbelt? Buckle up. I don't think anyone will ever get the complete truth. So much of this is a mystery. I still don't have concrete answers. Somebody's not telling the truth. It is a web of lies. I'm not sure you can trust anybody in this case.